everybody. My name is Scott Marcus. This is Sandra Peterson and R.H. Davis. We're doing something a little different up here. What we're going to talk to you about is how we're coming up with a new line of comic books for the Elvira brand. And usually in licensing what you do is that you go out and you find a publisher and then they have a writer, they have an artist, and hopefully everyone's minds meld and you come up with a product that everyone's happy with. We're going about it a little differently. Uh, we did have some people approach us saying, oh, we love Elvira, we want to do another comic book, and we said, great, send some treatments into us. We had a treatment where uh, the Elvira character was at a school like Hogwarts, had an evil twin sister, and some frog friends and other furry animals. We said it doesn't really make that much sense. We had another one come into us where she had a robot butler. <laughs> it didn't make much sense. Much like the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> then we had someone come to us and said, well, we'll just have her like in the first couple frames, and then we'll do a whole story about something else, and then she can say goodbye at the end. So, <laughs> None of these are really what we envision, really what Cassandra's envision for another comic book. So we're doing it a little differently. Um, through our friends at Kamikaze, we put in touch with R.H. Davis here. And I'll give you a little background on her, and I'm going to read it because I don't want to get it wrong. But uh, R.H. has created the backstory for Tomb Raider, and also wrote Transformers, The War for Cybertron, and Activision. She's also written a lot of different novels, books, she has a Right over down the aisle over there, you can see her very cool stuff. So we had RH come over to my house, and Cassandra come over, and I said, RH, listen, I think you're awesome. I've shown Cassandra a little bit of your stuff, but do your magic. You have the story, I know that you've probably come up with. I didn't hear it. And Cassandra would come over, and I said, well, I'm sure she came up with something friggin' awesome, but I know you also have a story you always wanted to do. And that's how this whole thing's come to be. So we're kind of doing it backwards. We have a writer we like, uh, we have an artist that will show you some concepts that we're working with, and then we're gonna go find a publisher that gets it. So I'm gonna turn it over to RH a little bit here and have her tell you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm telling you the best. <laughs> have RH tell you a little bit about um, what she envisions for this. Okay, well, hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Oh. Nice to meet you. It happened pretty much just like that. Uh, I write all kinds of things, novels, uh, comic books, graphic novels, video games, and we did indeed meet through uh, our friends at Kamikaze, and uh, when I came over and I heard these stories, <laughs> my, my response was like, um, that's not what I would do. Um, if you know my work at all, most of my work is very strong female characters, well and then aside from that I like most of the time not all the time but most of the time I write dark sexy humor horror that's what I do and I like to take it dark <laughs> I really do in fact uh, in, a, in something else that I have Diamond actually censored my panel so when it got distributed we had a censored panel I'm still wanting to do that here <laughs> so we'll see how it goes <laughs> Well, I'm mistress of the dark, so, exactly. so the dark fiction should work for me. Exciting. Right, there's going to be a panel that shows something horrible that we can't even show, so dark. But uh, aside from that, yes, um, she had some amazing ideas, actually, and we sat and we talked about what you had always envisioned, which was so much better than anyone had come up with for you. Really, brilliant. It's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> and it's true. And it just meshed so well because I said, you know, what I would want to do is I would want to make it dark. I want to make it sexy. I want to make it humorous. I want to make it fun. And fun for uh, everyone who knows Elvira and already loves Elvira. And then again, even more fun maybe for people who have never even, you know, uh, had the chance of knowing you well just yet. So. Uh, we created something together and we basically came up with the origin. So that's what we're doing first, the origin story. And like I said, I don't want to give too much away, but it's definitely going to be associated with Halloween, which is awesome, yeah? yeah. There's going to be a lot of demons. Who's a fan of demons? I, I am a fan of demons. <laughs> you never know who's going to show up, you never know. 
Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're going to have all kinds of uh, lore about Halloween and how the Mistress of the Dark fits in, and uh, it's it's going to be pretty cool. So. Well, let me say, Cassandra, you have some very definite.